So I just got home from filming a clothing line commercial for a company called WeTroit, and we filmed it in Detroit, Michigan. I'll be bringing you guys along the whole behind the scenes process. Now most of the time I shoot music videos, but as you know, we're music entrepreneurs, we're hustlers, we gotta have multiple streams of income. So once in a while I will shoot a clothing commercial, once in a while I film some weddings, but there's a difference between shooting music videos and then commercials and specifically clothing commercials. I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and tricks that you can use when you film clothing commercials for brands or businesses. That's what's happening in today's video. Welcome to the video. Track a lag on the track. What's up music entrepreneurs? My name is Crackalack. Welcome back to Crackalack TV. So in today's video, we are talking about how to film a clothing commercial. Real quick, if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss any more good ass content just like this right here. So right out the gate, let's talk about why would a clothing line reach out to you to film a video for them? It's gonna be three things. One is gonna be to showcase their products. Two is gonna be they want more brand awareness, right? Video is the name of the game today. So being a videographer, you're ahead of the curve. You're in the right place. And then three, obviously, it's a business. They want to make money off of it. They want people to watch the video and then by the end, like, oh, wow, that looks cool. I like it. I want to support it. I was entertained by it. I want to go spend some money and buy the clothes. So make sure you talk to the client. That way you can get a better understanding on the company, the clothing line, what their style is, what their look is, and what they're going for with the video. Because you're going to ask a lot of questions, and that's a good thing because one, it shows that you care, and then two, it helps you do a better job with putting the video together for them because you're finding out exactly what they want from this video. So with this commercial today, you're gonna see there was lots of dancing. So the client had a jingle made for his brand and he wanted to have some dancers in it, some choreography, and he had access to a very historic place in Detroit, Michigan. I can't disclose the name of the place due to legal copyright stuff. First, we're gonna go in and do all the COVID stuff. You know, you guys got temple scan, sign out sheet, blah, blah, blah. So for the commercial, we filmed it with Sony cameras. I have a Sony A7S II, and then also shout out to Spooky Spooky Films. He helped DP the shoot. This is my first time actually having a DP help me with the project. Long story short, my gimbal, I have a DJI running M. It broke down a few weeks ago and I had to send it back and I wouldn't have it back in time. So I want to make sure I had access to someone with a gimbal so that way we get those smooth shots. And I've worked with Spooky in the past and he does great work. So with gimbals, I like to use wide lenses. So Spooky was using a 16 millimeter lens and then I was going handheld and I have a 55 millimeter lens. And I think the contrast between the really wide gimbal, 16 millimeter smooth shots, and then my handheld shaky 55 millimeter close up shots, both shots complemented each other. All right, with commercials, you wanna get people's attention. Attention is where the money's at. So what we use to get people's attention in this commercial was the dancing. The dancing draws you in, but this is where product placement comes in. What were the dancers wearing the entire video? The clothing line. I also got a lot of shots of just close-up of the clothes that when I edit it I'm gonna go back and forth between some dancing shots and then boom then modeling the clothes and then go back to the dancing the action the story the what's happening and then go boom product placement let's talk about the difference between shooting music videos and shooting a clothing commercial when you shoot music videos who's the star of the show the artist right the people when you're filming a commercial the product is the star of the show so the star of the show in this was the clothing line and again the product placement you keep seeing the clothing over and over again. Every person in the commercial, they're wearing the clothing. Now, there are several similarities with shooting a clothing commercial versus shooting music videos. Camera settings is always going to be there. Having an intro, having a main chunk of the meat, like the point you're trying to get across, which in this is these clothes are cool, right? And, and you see these clothes and you see these different options of clothes and different colors of clothes, different sizes of clothes. You see men in the clothes, you see women in the clothes. And then wrapping it up, but at the same time, keeping it as entertaining as you possibly can throughout it. We change scenes a lot. When you shoot music videos, you change the scenes a lot. What we did was all of the dance scenes. So let's say those are the performance shots. We filmed those in 24 frames per second. And then just like you would with shooting a music video, I like to get a lot of the performance shots in 24 frames per second. And then after you get the performance shots, okay, now let's look around. Let's get some B-roll. Let's, let's get some slow-mo close-up shots. Let's get some establishing shots. Let's get some scenery. We did all of that with the commercial as well. And again, change the scene. Let's move, go here, do a performance shot. There was no rapping performance shot, but it was dancing. And in your commercials, you might just have the models walking towards the camera. Hey guys, pretend that you're having fun. You guys are laughing, taking selfies with your phone. All right, three, two, 
One. I hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys next video. Crack a like TV. We out.